Well, here we have it. The latest acquisition and addition to the lineup of fine automobiles here at the Hillbilly Workshop in Halverson Canyon, Washington. This is my 1970 Cadillac Fleetwood hearse. Ain't she a thing of beauty? Let me see if I can get backed up far enough to get it all in frame. Yes, sir, boy. Uh, 472 cubic inches, followed by a turbo 400 automatic transmission, and I can't wait to jack it up and see what that drive line looks like. 375 horsepower, 525 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPMs, uh, 160 inch wheelbase, 21 and a half feet long, and weighing in at just under 9,000 pounds. Yes, sir. Look at this. Look at this little jewel. We've got our curtains, and we've got the little rollers here. They roll these little boxes on, and you know, if you're tall, you put this little thing in up here, this little stop, and if you're short, you put it down here. And there's some cool little lights in here and some decoration. And well, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just think Novelist 10 would look real good driving this thing. I I saw a video he had to where he was sitting there with his sunglasses on in the dark with a candle lit and flipping through some pages on some of his writings, manuscripts, I suppose. And I don't know, he just kind of looked the part. What do you think, Novelist 10? Don't you think this kind of suits your personality? Yeah, boy. Ain't she a thing of beauty? Mm hmm Well, I did a little finagling. I was out doing a grafting job and spotted this thing and belonged to the client I was working for. And so I gave him a call and asked him if he wanted to take a uh, you know, uh, X number of dollars off the bill and send me the title of this thing. And uh, he said he'd think about it. And he called me back and said, yeah, I'll do that. You know, he just bought it to take his kids trick-or-treating in when they were a little younger. And uh, he bought it up in Okanagan County up north. And the guy agreed to sell it to him if, if he would take it completely out of the county, which he did. So here it sits in my driveway because he said his wife hated it, had never been within 10 feet of it, would not ride in it. She wanted him to get rid of it the day he brought it home. So now she's happy, he's happy, and I'm happy. And there's that old big block. There's some, uh, yeah, yeah, the rats, there's rat droppings right there. And uh, when we got over here yesterday and was looking through it, there was, my foreman was here, and he, that <laughs> kid looked in the back, and <laughs> appropriately enough, there was a rat back there, <laughs> her mouse climbing around on the curtains back there. I don't know, it was behind the curtain, it looked pretty big, I don't know if it was a rat or a mouse, but anyway, thought that was fitting. And, uh, yeah, she runs like a dream. Got a bit of an exhaust leak, we got some, uh, Cracking the manifold and well, I'm kind of in the process of poking around on the internet and seeing if I can locate one of those. But boy, she fires up and it runs good. Oh, I gotta push that lever in so my hood will latch. Well, I'll take a picture of her good side over here. We'll get on the good side. Set out in the field and the sprinkler ran on that other side and they just kind of let it sit there for years and years and years and. Finally, I guess it kind of caused the paint to separate, so. Oh, there's just all kinds of possibilities. We could shorten that up and make a shorty out of it. Any of you guys ever seen that movie, uh, Harold and Maude? Hilarious movie. And, uh, yeah, he took one of these and cut it in half and made a shorty out of it. So that's a possibility, but it would still be 16 feet long, you know. You took five or six feet out of it, so. I don't know, I saw one on the internet that had a chop top and that was pretty cool. That's not something 
I would try to do, but I'm just thinking that's quite the hot rod engine there. So down the road, after I have a little fun with it, probably pull that engine and stick it in something else. I've got lots of things. I, if that engine goes in my 32, that little six cylinder, that old caddy would look pretty good sitting in there. Well, of course, I got the 51 Nash two door back there. Could put this motor in. We got new tires and what? How long's it been since you've seen fender skirts like that on a rig? Okay, that's it for today. Just having a little fun. Thanks for watching.